Hey everyone, Zane here, and today I'm going to show you how to bypass the BetLocker recovery key on Windows 11. Now, first, you need to know that this method will also work on Windows 10. So, what you should do right now when you navigate to this page right here, you have to click on Advanced Options, then go to Troubleshoot right here, choose Advanced Options, then it will show this page, go to Command Prompt, then it will show you these two options you should now click on skip this drive and after you click on skip this drive it will ask you to choose an account so i will choose my account then after you choose your email it will ask you to enter your password now you have to enter your password then click on continue right here then it will run the cmd as you can see now we have to type here r-e-g-e-d-i-t or regedit then click on enter it will open the registry editor. Now we have to highlight or just tap on the local machine, edge key local machine. And after that, go to file, then choose load hive. Then it will show you this page or this window. You have to click on this PC. Now choose the drive where you think the recovery key is saved. So in my case, it's the C drive. Then you should navigate till you find the recovery key so in my case i have it right here with its name you just have to right click on the folder then click on edit right here once you click on edit here you will find the recovery key just right here but this is because i have saved it like so now some people may face an issue that when they click on edit this folder doesn't open like this so in order to fix this issue you have to go back again then right click then click on properties down below right here once you click on properties it will show you this page now we have to type in the end dot b a t then click on ok right here then after that you will have to go back to local disk c and here you will find that the folder has changed its type so you have to right click on it now it has the b a t type so you have to right click on it then click on edit and after that will open the folder with you now you have to copy this code or even take a screenshot of it and paste it where you can put the recovery key and your issue will be fixed and that's all for today if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support us with like subscribe comment share thanks for watching and see you in a new video